ESPN 1420 exclusive here with wide receiver Al Riles. But, Al, you didn't always play at wide receiver. You switched there last year. How comfortable are you there now? Um, a lot more comfortable. Like I said, last year was a lot more pressure trying to, you know, learn the offense and just learn the way things go. But now I have, you know, I have the ground under my feet. I'm more comfortable. I have a better relationship with my quarterbacks, so as you can see with Jalen. So it's definitely exciting this year. and I'm just more comfortable. I feel like I'm at home with offense now. Just so you guys know, Jalen Nixon is doing his best to distract Al off camera. Question number two, what's been the hardest part of your transition from defense to offense? Um, just the, 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 the structure. But I, I, I feel like we can bring it to offense more this year. Defense, you know, we kind of had our own thing going, more height, more talk, and offense has more structure and order to them. We're more organized. So hopefully this year we can change that a little bit. Do you miss hitting people, or have you just kind of transitioned that into blocking? I definitely miss hitting people. I think about it all the time. I definitely miss playing defense, and if I could do both sides, I could. But unfortunately, I can't. But, yes, I, I try to transition that when it comes to blocking, so definitely. All right, I've heard that you're one of the more talkative players on the field. Does, does that mean you trash talk a little bit? Is there an art to it? Oh, yes. That's why I, that's why I miss defense, and that's what I hope we can bring to offense this year. I love talking about trash on the field. I love playing my opponent, but it's all fun and games, you know. I respect my opponent, but I like talking trash to them as well. Are you the one that kind of wants somebody on the opposite side of you that will talk back, or you kind of want, want somebody that will just sit there and take it? No, definitely I want someone that will talk to me. That's why I love the defense that we have. My brother, Otha Peters, you know, we he, he's the same way. We're going to talk all the trash, so I definitely need another opponent on defense that's going to talk that trash because it's going to get us hype. It's going to bring the best out of so I love it. All right, and uh, you got any personal goals this year? Because I think the teams are pretty clear. They want to make that double-digit mark and win. Um, yes, but my goal is just it's just one game at a time. My goal is keeping everyone healthy, keeping my brothers healthy, man. It's just that, that's our biggest focus. We got players just coming back. I'm just excited to see how they do this year. You know, you got Jamal Robinson coming back. You got uh, Jerry Johnson. Then you have our backfield. You got uh, Montreal Carter coming back from an injury, Torrey Pierce. So I'm just glad to see my running backs coming back. My, my wide outs, and we just taking one game at a time. That's my goal. All right, now let's talk about some stuff that doesn't exactly have to do with the football side of things. Would you ever accept an MMA fight in the octagon against Rusty Witt or Coach Hud, either one of them? Definitely. I, 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 I would take one, but uh, I'm, I'm going to take my chances. I don't know about, about the W part, but I'm going to take my chances. I'm a man, so, you know, I, I, I accept that challenge. Which one do you think you'd stand a better chance, with Coach Witt or with Coach Hud? Uh, I'll take my chance with Coach Hud. <laughs> there it is. Hey, I'm, I won't tell HUD if you don't tell him. All right, next question. If you could, would you rather be an actor, a musician, or a reality star? Um, I'd say musician. You know, I, I definitely say musician. That's just something that I think we all grew up. We went through a phase thinking we could either rap, sing, or do whatever. So that's something I think I like to do, go on tour and just perform. So, yeah. All right, and do you have any hidden talents like that? You, can you sing, tap dance, anything? No, nah, I'm just I'm, I'm original, man. I'm I'm that. That's not me, you know. I like like I said, I'm vocal. I'm, I'm a vocal person, but other than that, I'm no secret talents. See, I'm I'm taking up clogging, tap dancing, and yodeling. Yodeling. Just kidding. All right, last one. Do you have a go-to dance move here? Because I'm I'm trying to prepare for a dance off with Michael Quay. Is there a go-to you got? Um, go-to dance move. Uh, nah, I'm I'm just straight two step. I'm in the club. I'm a hype man, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be next to the, you know the dancer. So you ain't gonna see me dance, but I'm gonna be next to the dancer, hyping them up. See, there it is. Hands up, hype man Al Riles. All right, Al, have a good luck in season. Now you can go hang out with your buddies. They're trying to distract you. All right, thank you so much.